beauties welcome back first video of the year i'm gonna give you an update on my project pan that i did a couple of months ago if you haven't seen it i will link it up above for you so you can check it out i'm gonna be honest it was it was an epic fail because i didn't hit pan on shit in any of the palettes that i chose you know you kind of like get into all the new stuff and then you forget your old stuff and then you want to do other stuff and it's just a hot mess of things all around so i went back looked at it grabbed the palettes that i talked about i'm just gonna run through them really quick and show you what palettes i wanted to hit pan on and then i'm going to give you my new realistic realistic goal for 2021 so let's get into it first and foremost guys happy freaking new year let's just hope that this new year is way better than 2020 because 2020 was a crock of shit all around let's just be honest here let's talk about these palettes that i wanted to hit pan on and i didn't hit pan on but i will say that i hit pan on something else but let's get into it so the first one that i wanted to hit pan was a smashbox little photo matte eye eyeshadow palette didn't hit pan on it Kristen leanne with urban decay didn't hit pan on it butter london another cute one that i should have hit pan on didn't hit pan on next palette go figure didn't hit pan ace beauty grandiose palette please have forgot about this gorgeous thing nothing whatsoever dream street by kathleen lights and color pop like i don't even i'll be honest with you guys i don't want to freaking use it because they don't sell this anymore and this is like the best palette ever this is like the best collaboration ever besides the beauty christie one because that palette is bomb y'all oh my goodness shooting star i have a pretty well indent in there it could be realistic to hit pen on this year bh cosmetics weekend festival nothing Color Rain Vivid Pigments and Shadows, not even close. Violet Voss and Nicole Concilio, what happened Liza? Don't know. And uh, last but not least, because I did give one away, which was the Beauty Creations Olivia palette. I gave that one away. It was just not my vibe, you guys. I'm going to be honest with you. But last one is the 39A by Morphe that I wanted to hit pan on. And nope, this gorgeous baby right here. Nope. Now, the good news is, is that I did hit pan on two of my favorite blushes. This one um, is by Benefit. I think this is the Gold Rush blush. I actually hit pan on it. If you see it right there, <laughs> I hit pan on it. And then my favorite Mellow Wine by Wet n Wild. I think I showed this to you guys before, but I hit pan on it. So, I'm happy about that. <laughs> So let's get into a realistic goal and if you want to do this with me, leave me comments down below and let me know what you're going to try to hit pan on or empty a bottle or hit hit stick or like, you know, like hit a lipstick because it's called lipstick and it's in a stick. So hit stick. Let's just let's just go with that. Let me know if you want to make some goals with me and let's finish some makeup this year, you guys, because we buy all this stuff and we don't finish it. We need to finish it. New realistic goal for 2020. I definitely want to finish the two blushes, so we're going to be concentrating on that. I want to work with three of these palettes here that I have. I definitely want to hit pan on Dream Street. I'm going to keep working on the Urban Decay with Kristen Leanne. And I'm definitely going to be working into the Smashbox. I can use this every day. It's your, you know, your matte neutrals. I literally can just throw this on my eyes every single day with a liner and just keep it moving doesn't have to be great so i'm gonna stick with these three throughout the year see if i hit pan on those three we're gonna keep it realistic you guys so two blushes three little palettes i want to finish this mac uh fix plus in lavender as you can see i use it i'm about a little almost halfway so definitely want to finish that i have been using this stuff you guys i definitely want to finish the no problem primer by Touch and Soul. I'm halfway through the bottle. I use this primer for this look. So I definitely want to finish that. 
and I chose these items because these are some of the items that I've had the longest and I feel like they're like in their exp expiring date for 2021 like it's coming close so I just I need to do it the other one that I want to finish and it's already kind of drying out just a little bit but still blurs my pores around my nose is the cover effects blurring primer as you can see I use this you guys like I'm like I have all of this to go this is realistic for the new year and I want to finish it and I'm gonna be trying to finish this one as well and then I've been using my beauty bakery setting powder I want to finish this I've had this since like the first year that I started doing makeup I think or like my second year so I've had it quite a while like I've had it for like about three years I think and it's still great it hasn't dried out it's a really really great formula I really like it it brightens my under eyes as well and it doesn't crease or get caked up or anything like that or dries out or anything like that under my eyes so I really like setting my concealer with this but I want to get through this you guys oh my goodness I am determined to finish this powder this year and then I chose three lipsticks that I'm literally, I'm almost there and I want to finish them and I keep forgetting about them, but I want to finish them. The first one is the collaboration that they did with Aaliyah um, by MAC and this one is called Try Again. It's a matte lipstick and I'm pretty much halfway through, just a gorgeous typical neutral color. And then the other one is also uh, the collaboration with Urban Decay and Kristen Leanne. This one is called Bun Bun. You've seen me wear it before on my channel. And you guys, come on, like I'm almost there to hit stick on these lipsticks and I am determined to do it this year. Like I gotta do it. And then my last one is my all time favorite matte lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills oh my gosh just such a gorgeous mauve tone like literally my favorite tone of mauve and it is just it's gorgeous and it's an amazing formula it's super creamy but it's a matte finish I absolutely love this color it's called buff and as soon as I finish this one, I will be buying a new one. And you guys, this is the farthest I've ever gotten, I think, on a lipstick. And I am like, I'm, oh, I'm almost there. I, like, this is realistic to finish this year. And I definitely want to do it. I mean, just, this is like, for me, this is my perfect mauve tone. This is my perfect lipstick of mauve. Oh my gosh, I can't. I can't even talk right now because this is just, this is genius. This is gorgeous. I love everything about this. This goes with so many different looks that I've done. I've worn this with so many looks. It is just, I'm almost there, you guys. Oh my goodness, I need to finish this lipstick so I can buy a new one. But realistically, I know that if I stick with it throughout the new year, I can finish these products that I just mentioned. And I want you guys to help me out and keep me accountable. Ask me, hey, are you using this? Hey, have you finished that? Are you trying to hit pan on that? Yes, let's do it together. Pick some products, you guys, that you want to hit pan or stick on for 2021. Let's do it together. Let's have fun. And I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. It's like 2 in the morning and I've been filming and just playing with makeup. I love it. This is my first video for the year, you guys. And let's be honest and realistic with each other and to ourselves. Let, let's try to finish some of these products. Don't let our shit that we spend our hard-earned money on go to waste because we can't finish it and we forget about it so join me and pick some products and leave me comments down below so i hope you guys had a wonderful new year's i hope you guys have set some new goals for yourself i know i have and i literally want to better myself a lot and take myself even farther this year with a lot of things that i've been wanting to accomplish so let's make it work let's try our best and i really really hope everyone has as a better year you guys stay healthy stay safe i love you guys be kind bye